Hello there, my beautiful friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. Then I'm going to pull a bonus card from the Spirit Animals Oracle deck and an angel number for you as well. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing any kind of signs through animals, any kind of insects, repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, everyone. So this is a reading for every single zodiac sign. If you're finding yourself here today, this message was meant for you. I'm going to go ahead and pull three cards and see what spirit's message is for you today. All right, everyone, we are starting with the Page of Pentacles. Look at this. There's some good news coming in your way, some sort of an offering, something that is really going to touch your heart here, something definitely to be excited for. This is going to open up something for you here. So look forward to this, the Page of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles as well. Look at this, everyone. This is you leveling up. There's an upgrade coming in and I feel that you are rising up to a higher frequency, a higher vibration. And I feel this is coming in with this good news, the Page of Pentacles. Now, what I want you to do here, everyone, is to use your own intuition with my readings. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So two of pentacles. There are, there's a rising happening here. I love it. And nine of wands, protecting your energy at all costs, understanding where you're going to place your energy as well. This is going to be very important because I feel that some of you are going to find yourselves being distracted, being pulled this way and that way. And it's going to be very important that you focus on where you're going at this time. Okay. So nine of wands coming through. This is a beautiful spread. I feel you're going to experience a lot of growth and expansion in your life here. Those of you that are watching today. Now, before I start, I wanted to remind everyone that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently for each and every one of us. This is also a general reading and may not resonate for everyone today. So those of you that are watching, um, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. So lots of growth, a lot of success coming in your way here. And I feel a lot of you are focusing in on understanding how you want to balance your life, how you're going to create that and what that looks like for you. And because you're doing this, because you are kind of remolding your life, that's what it feels like. It's almost like you're kind of molding even yourself here. There are so many different things that are about to happen here for you. And I want to start with this is the page of pentacles. There's something coming in. If it already hasn't for you, I feel there's an opportunity and offer coming in that is going to be presented for you where you're going to be able to grow. This could come in as a job offer. This could come in as someone teaching you something. This could come in as financial opportunity that perhaps you're going to run into some money. Someone might give you something that is going to open you up to this new path. And I feel for some of you, this is something new, something that you haven't done before. And there's a lot of excitement around this. So I feel there's these, this beautiful energy where it's like, okay, I'm super excited about this. This sounds really good. But there's a lot of thoughts in your mind as well. So this is why we have the nine of wands. Perhaps you're thinking that whatever this is might be too challenging for you, or perhaps you don't know what the semantics of this is or how this is going to work out in your life. Perhaps you're feeling like you're not in a position right now that you can pick up on this opportunity. I feel that you are. I feel that when this comes in, you're meant to actually run with it, that you are someone that is able to balance things out and actually create some time for this because you're going to see a lot of growth with this. 
So you'll have to share with me here, those of you that are watching, if the Page of Pentacles has already arrived in your life, you can comment in the comment section below, but expect this to come in in the next probably three months here, okay? And it could be even two months. We've got the number two, we have the number nine here as well. So um, two to nine days, two to nine weeks, or two to nine months. But I feel the growth is going to happen in that time. This is going to come in in the probably next first, second or third month of January here for you. So this is very exciting. Uh, I also feel that some of you are going to create this opportunity for yourself. The opportunity itself is actually you. You are the ones like you are the one that's kind of like, OK, you know what? I, I, I got this idea. I have this thought. I have this vision that I want to. Well, you just use YouTube as an example. I want to start a YouTube channel and, you know, I'm going to make a point to protect my energy, making sure that I understand, okay, this is what it's going to take to do this. And I have to balance my life out. I have to make time for work. I have to, to make time for life, but I also want to make time to actually do this thing that I've been wanting to do. So I'm seeing a lot of you juggling quite a bit, but I feel that you're kind of balancing things out and really re divvying up your energy here. So whatever this opportunity is, again, it's a learning, uh, a learning process for you. It's going to be a journey of learning. And as you move along it, not only are you going to pick up superpowers through it, but you're going to learn a lot and grow from that. And sometimes when we learn something, it's, it can be difficult, right? Especially if we aren't aware of what, what it is that we're trying to learn. Um, so because I do YouTube, this is how it was for me. I didn't know what to do. I just posted videos at first, but then I thought, okay, you know what it takes more to this. So learning along the way, making mistakes as I went along, but learning from them like, okay, that didn't work. We'll try something else. This works. We'll keep that. It's all of these things. I actually created this opportunity for myself and I never in a million years thought I would be here on YouTube filming tarot readings and it, it, this never came into my mind even five years ago. It just happened. This is where life has led me and it's because I knew that I wanted to do something for myself that I wanted to break free from that nine to five and create something where I, I'm, I'm fending for myself. I call the shots. I'm making my own money. I decide. I'm taking my power back. This is kind of the energy I'm feeling for some of you. So whether it's YouTube, whether it's your social media presence, whether it's you branding yourself, that's the other thing that's been coming up quite a bit here for a lot of you is you're creating a brand around yourself. So there's like this social media presence that I'm picking up for some of you. Um, and there's going to be a lot of success here and there's a lot to learn with that. And, you know, as I'm growing, as I'm doing everything, I'm starting to realize I need a team. So my husband's now working with me. We're working together. So we have other projects in the works here as well, not just Sacred Knowledge Tarot. So just a lot of different things. And I'm thinking about holding live events here as well, like actually in person. So that's something that's on my mind. I have a vision around it. You're going to see this coming up in the new year. Um, but I feel for you, there's this opportunity to really grow, opportunity for you to really stand alone in your power, uh, where you're doing this for yourself and you're going to see how your life shifts. Yes, you may face some challenges. It's challenging to doing all of this, but it's all about tapping into that strength. And remember, 2024 is the year number eight in numerology. It's about mastery. It's about being brave and courageous. It's about taking your power back. It's, it's a very powerful number. It's also about tapping into your ambitious, being ambitious this year, using discipline. Discipline is going to be the big word here is that's coming up here with your nine of wands is discipline, right? Understanding. Okay. There's so many things that you have to put your energy towards this year. Give yourself one year, 365 days here everyone to really shift your life and be serious about it because you're going to see some massive change this year. This is a year of abundance. We all are able to create abundance in our life if we just are able to focus, able to release any kind of distractions in our lives. We're going to see how quickly our life changes and I want everyone to pull in that abundance, right? I want everyone to live this beautiful life. This is why I have this channel. So being resourceful here, um, 
you're going to see this upward movement in your life. It's going to happen. You're going to see it. It's going to be so exciting. Um, being resourceful, taking up skill sets. If there's something that you feel you don't know, it's this year to learn about it. It's time to master. Again, the number eight is about mastery, right? Um, balancing, balancing your life out. Communication is going to be huge here as well as how you communicate, how you talk about yourself. Instead of talking about the things that aren't working for you this year, like at all this year, talking about anything that isn't working for you, I want you to talk about all the things that you're going to make work, all the things that you're dreaming of, all the things that you're going to bring into your life rather than that um, scarcity or negative talk. How you speak about yourself instead of saying, I'm not good at this, I am good at this. I am learning to become good at this or, you know, not using any kind of negative self-taught because law of attraction, you can attract negative things into your life if you're talking constantly about negative things, right? Or things that aren't working out for you. Practicing gratitude as well is going to be huge this year. If you're able to um, have a, pra a, a gratitude journal here and write down all the things that you're grateful for in your day every single day you're going to see how your life shifts right and, and anything that you go through your life experience you're going to go through some stuff this card is showing that perhaps you're going to feel challenged at this time maybe you're already finding it very challenging to stick to a routine um, to stick to that gym right or to stick to whatever it is it's hard to learn sometimes it is hard to learn like i want to learn how to edit those of you that are thinking, I'm going to learn how to edit. It takes a lot. I enjoy editing. So I was editing all of my videos myself. I do all my thumb thumbnails still myself. Everything creative I'm coming up with myself with the help of my husband who whispers in my ear, gives me a lot of the ideas, right? And I just kind of run with them. But I'm very creative and I just love doing the back end work. So those of you that are wanting to create something in your life, it's now taking that knowledge and be very serious about, okay, I'm going to learn this thing and I'm going to darn it, learn it. Right. And that's how you're going to grow. That is how you're going to work up this ladder. This is how you're going to see these things work out for you. And again, understanding, okay, I have all of this energy how, where I'm going, where put your energy in the areas of your life that you want to see the most growth in. And the other thing is like your path is being illuminated here, by the way. So you're able to see here uh, what is working for you and what isn't. And sometimes it's hard to kind of change our habits. This is where discipline is going to be required. You're going to have to get out of your comfort zone here. So changing even one single habit, like say, for example, you're wanting to stop drinking coffee. That is so hard to do. I've tried that, right? And it challenges us. But it's like, okay, no, because I'm seeing the other picture on the other side. I'm seeing myself as this other person. And I'm seeing like, I'm going to work out every single day because I'm seeing my own physical body look like this thing. So I'm going to stick to that and not focus any kind of distractions that are there. Like you're seeing the things that aren't working for you. So you're able to change them, right? So creating that fine balance, understanding that um, self-care is a part of this as well so it's not about just working 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 all the time but you have to take time out to focus on yourself and your self-care recharging your energy because again the nine of wands shows everywhere you're kind of putting your energy and sometimes what happens is we give too much and then we're depleted of this energy so you want to focus on always recharging your energy making a point to actually take some time out to do this for yourself self-care um, and no is going to be uh, a very powerful word for some of you out there, especially if you're trying to change yourself. That includes your environment, where you place yourself, right? So for an example of this is kind of like you're protecting your energy, but you're hanging out the, with these friends, but these friends like to hang out at bars because they like to drink, they like to eat this kind of food, but because you're trying to shift yourself, it's okay to say, no, I'd, I don't want to be in that environment because I'm trying to shift my energy. And as you're doing this shift, as the shift is taking place, you're going to see a lot of things changing in your life. You're going to see how some friendships are going to part ways. New friendships are going to come in, how you're going to respond and react to these energies, not just of these people entering your life and these people leaving because that departing sometimes can be hard, right? So just protecting yourself at this time. This year is going to be 
365 days here everyone if you're able to stick to that have a calendar this is what I've done I've got a calendar on my wall and I'm sticking to it and I know it's going to be hard I'm going to have days where it's going to challenge me I, I experienced that already and it uh, but I overcome it I don't give in to that energy that wants to pull me down that you know the case of the lazy sometimes I get that in the morning where I don't want to get up and I know that if I get up later my day doesn't go the way I had planned it to because I'm off off my game that day right but listen to your body here um, that's going to be very very important your intuition is going to be high as well I feel it's already high but this is where you heighten your senses and you are open and receptive to everything that the universe is sending your way this is going to come through animals insects this could come through like words someone having a conversation it's striking this idea in your mind I feel a lot of you are going to have these ideas come to you and you're meant to act on some of those right especially if they feel good if they touch your heart you're wanting to act on them just put them down on a sheet of paper and come back to it right it's all and again anytime you're feeling frustrated anytime you're feeling worried if you're feeling anxious write all of these things down empty your brain of all those things that are whirling around in your mind make a point to do that as much as you can obviously you don't have to do that but I feel it always helps because it releases that energy that pressure that's weighing down on us in our mind when we're trying to make decisions right meditation implementing things that are going to help balance your life being resourceful with that positive affirmations um, those of you that haven't grabbed my 14 day mindset challenge ebook it is in the description box below this is a perfect uh, time to grab that it's only $11.11 .11. it's 50 pages full of information everything that I use in my own life that I want to share with all of you so uh, I feel that it's a really uh, good book to have uh, so and there's tons of free information on YouTube as well so whatever it is that you want to do make a point to add good habits into your life take in knowledge learn and grow this is all about your self-development and now you know the abundance that we want to come into our life starts with us first right so know that there's a lot of growth a lot of abundance a lot of success coming into your life that you're going to create by yourself and the and through the universe right the powers that are here for us um, it's just a beautiful beautiful reading a beautiful spread for you today I just feel there's so much happening here for you and again distractions here just beware of all the distractions right now we are going through mercury retrograde it's a very reactive energy so this is probably one of the reasons why you're receiving this mercury retrograde I feel is done by what is that January the 2nd I believe you can correct me here everyone that are watching today I believe it is January the 2nd when it's over but we're in the thick of that right now so you know the challenges we might face right now are delays uh, electronics messing up I've definitely been experiencing that recently uh, miscommunication as well so and it's a reactive energy so can you imagine if you miscommunicated with communicated with someone by error uh, maybe you sent a text off way too quickly before reading it or something happens and it you know this reactive energy that has this domino effect that's what mercury retrograde is just being aware that that energy is out there and it's not you it's not someone else it's just the energy so ground yourselves right now and don't react to things to people I just feel that if you're grounded if you're able to kind of think before reacting because those emotions come up and that's what we react to so when you feel emotions coming up breathe through it allow yourself to ground that energy and just think before you say something um, signing contracts and stuff might not be a good idea either just read through everything pay attention to every single detail of anything that you're signing off on right now all right so I'm now going to pull uh, a bonus card from the spirit animal oracle deck so those of you that have been seeing any kind of animals or insects in your life this is going to give you your confirmation anything that I have missed in today's reading these cards always tend to pick up on it so let's see what we get here for you today so we are getting otter spirit you are never alone look at this it's in a sh the shape of a heart and I feel doing things that you enjoy that are that are coming from your heart and love it always goes back to love gratefulness is love right so spreading the love it, it's going to be huge this year so and and the world needs love right now 
So the number 42 is on this card. So those of you uh, that have been seeing the number 42 or this number could be of significance to you. Some of you are 42 years old, right? Now, those of you that are looking for timing, four to two weeks, four to two days, four to two months, also April and February being significant months for some of you, April the 2nd or February the 4th. All right, so look at that. And when you add those two up together, it, it adds to a number six. So sometimes spirit guides call us to embody the energy of the life path number six. It's the number of nurture. It's the number of love. It's a number of healing, right? It's the caregiver, the nurturer. Very powerful card. So let me read you the oracle message and the protection message for this card today. So where is Otter Spirit here? Here we are. So the oracle message is, like true friends, otters nurture each other and express their affection through touch. Actions such as holding hands and giving hugs offer reassurance that we are never really alone, that we are always cherished. Otter spirit has appeared to remind you to experience and express friendship in a tangible and even tactical way. Communicate with your voice, your facial expressions, your gestures, and your actions, letting your love express itself beyond just the words you speak. Otter spirit message is that presence matters, so remember to be fully present with those you care about, helping them sense the love and affection and appreciation you have for them. Now is a time for a joyful celebration of the love in your life that expresses as friendship and companionship. Hug someone, touch their arm, or simply look into their eyes with your full attention saying, I care and you matter. Make time for friendship. Otter Spirit promises that the moment you reach out, you will remember that you too have many who love and care about you. You are never alone and you are always loved. The protection message on this card is, have you been channeling all of your affection to just one person or counting on only one friend or individual to hold you up, heedless of your resources all around you. You deserve support and love from many people, and when Otter Spirit arrives, you are reminded that you have a community. Somewhere is another friend who wants to experience the joy of giving to you and seeing your happiness as you receive their gift of attention, affection, and kindness. Otter Spirit wants you to open your eyes to see the love that is available to you from all directions. Do you believe it? Do you feel it? Reach out to someone and you will see that they hold, they want to hold your hand as much as you want to hold theirs. Love, support, and friendship are all available to you. So connect with the community with friends. So what a beautiful message here. Remember, spirit guides are also here to give you love and support. If you are somebody that feels you don't have this in your life, call on spirit to bring that in and watch how support comes to you. All right, being open and receptive to this energy is gonna be very powerful for you this coming year. So let's pull an angel number. Some of you have been seeing repeating numbers and angel numbers. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. You can also use this as an affirmation. We are getting number 55. You are evolving. So if you've been seeing number fives anywhere, this is your confirmation that you are evolving. Perhaps you're experiencing a change in your life that could be challenging right and know that you are growing from that experience and there's something on the other side that's coming in that you're meant to receive here blessings and abundance spirit guides also call you to embody the energy of the life path number five where they ask you to be a little bit more adaptable and flexible with whatever is going on in your life it's kind of like a shape shifter energy so the message here is substantial change is in your future embrace the change embrace the change a need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. This is huge and this is very powerful. So maybe this challenge is because you're meant to release that fear and by overcoming it, you're going to become stronger and whatever that fear is, is going to dis dissipate. So this is your message, this is your reading. If it resonates for you, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.